Hey there guys, my name is Chris and welcome to Houseplant Therapy. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use a pothos plant in your fish aquarium. Isn't this absurd? It's absolutely crazy. Get a close up on this. It is ridiculous. I like to put pothos plants in my fish aquariums for a handful of reasons. Number one, it looks completely awesome. Just look at this. Um, these over here, they just start to kind of vine around and it looks absolutely amazing. I have them all over the house here. And the second reason is because it removes toxins from the fish tank that the fish put into the water, mainly known as nitrates. So I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step guide on how I put pothos plants in my fish aquariums. It's super easy and I promise you guys, you can do this. So there's two different methods that you can add pothos to your aquarium. I got myself a scissors here. Uh, what you want to do is come up to the vine of your pothos plant and find what is called the nodes. These things, that's these things right here. These are what shoot out the new growth. And what you wanna do is you wanna find where you wanna cut it in between these nodes. This is known as an inner node, in between the nodes. So I could cut here, I could cut there, or I could cut there. And what happens is when you cut this, these nodes right here that are left on the vine, that's where the growth grows. So let's go ahead and cut this right there. Plop. All right, so then we have our cutting. And what you wanna do here is you wanna bring it up to your fish tank. This is kind of a horrible scenario, but uh, anything will work, literally. And what you wanna do is just plop the vine into the water. We only want the vine into the water and not the leaves. So what you wanna do is somehow prop this up. Sometimes it's difficult because the pothos leaves don't do whatever you want them to do. Like that. So what we would do then is literally just wait. This is gonna take a month or so to kind of realize what's going on. It's gonna, the leaves are gonna like take action on the lighting. They are going to assess the situation and start growing from there. Let's take a look at this beta. It was so beautiful. And in a couple months, what will happen is the pothos will start to vine like crazy. See where I cut that one right there? Literally, the vines just started coming off the nodes. And pretty soon, you just have crazy amounts of vines. And you can, you can do it this method. Check out those vines. Isn't that insane? And the second method of adding a pothos to your fish aquarium is to buy an already established pothos plant in a pot and to essentially rip it apart. This is kind of a hack that jump starts it because all of the roots are already grown inside the pot and that's going to take months off of your growth time. So what you want to do is get yourself a pot of pothos. It really doesn't matter the size of it and we are going to pull it apart. I would start by soaking it with the garden hose because it will pull apart a lot easier. Start soaking it, letting the soil kind of turn into mud and pull apart from all the roots. And don't be scared with this, guys, because this is going to feel like you're destroying the plant when you start pulling it apart. But actually, uh, a lot of times when you rip roots like this apart, it actually stimulates the plant and it goes into defense mechanism and it grows a lot faster. I like this method of adding the pothos to your fish tank just because the roots are already fully grown. And a lot of times this could be like seven months worth of growth. And you're almost like jump starting the entire cycle. Once you have torn up the entire pot into a couple different sections of clippings, what you want to do is thoroughly clean the roots. We don't want any of that dirt in our fish aquarium. So here's the results we got. Hopefully you got yourself some vines that are like eight to 10 inches long. Remember, the more leaves you have on the vine, the more likely the plant is to grow faster because they can photosynthesize faster and grow faster. Now that we have thoroughly cleaned all of our sections of plant, we can now put them in the fish aquarium. The trick here is, guys, we only want the roots and the stem of the plant to lay in the water. We do not want any of the leaves to be laying in the water. Although I've done some testing and plants have still stayed alive for months upon months with the leaves underwater. So, but my advice would be to leave the leaves out of water. Sorry, that was a little confusing. But guys, this is so simple, you honestly can't screw this up. So now that you have your pothos plant in your fish aquarium, let me give you some important advice. This is huge as far as the pothos plant thriving and growing. A lot of people screw this up. So you have your fish aquarium, right? And a lot of people have lids that go right on the top and they just lay their light right on the top of the aquarium. That's not what we want here. 
you want to try to raise your aquarium light like five to seven inches above your, your aquarium itself. And that way the pothos can absorb some of that light off of your fish aquarium light. That's what's gonna give them their light. You know, if you have to rely on a window, you know, you know, if, you're, if your aquarium's like against a wall, like this one over here, and you have to rely on the window to feed that pothos plant, it's not gonna go that great. Allow yourself to just utilize the light off of the fish aquarium. So like in this case, this is the tank we were just looking at. The light is lifted and this gives the pothos plant, it, they just thrive on that lighting, guys. Get yourself an actual aquarium plant LED and, and get yourself a sexy, some plants in your tank too. Like do it all right, you know? So without further, uh, uh, guys, it's super simple. I promise you. Like look at this over here. This is literally a shop light, a $17 shop light from, Wal from Walmart like 18 inches above the tank and look at all these pothos i promise you the the trick here is to give them thorough amounts of lighting guys please subscribe to the channel i love house plants i'm doing tons of videos i have hundreds of videos uh, i just can't stop doing this i just love helping people so please subscribe like the video and comment below i i would love to hear from you